This is a Nexus special, episode 13 of the Google Nexus event on Monday, October 29th, 2012. And now, I don't even speak math. This episode is hosted by Ryan Rampersed with special guests Ian Buck and Sam Roth. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Ryan. Oh, hey, Ryan. Hi, Sam. Oh, Ian. Oh! Wow, oh, fancy meeting you here on the, uh, I don't know, the, the Google Plus hangout. The internets? Yeah, yeah. No, this is amazing. Yeah, you never know who you're going to run into in this scary internet thing. No, not at all. Earlier, I ran into my mom. Well, that's oh, weird. Oh, yeah. That was, well, that was pretty awkward. Yeah, really. <laughs> it was like, hi, mom. And then she was like, Ian, how do I find photos? <laughs> well, if you, then, she was using the new Windows 8 tile, it'd be effortless. Oh, true. Except that she didn't have the external hard drive plugged in that they were on. Well, so it wouldn't be effortless. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, yeah, there's your problem. Mm-hmm. Well, so I think we've actually come here for a purpose today. What was what is that purpose, Ian? Google stuff. Google stuff. Google oh, everything. What did Google do today? They well, announced my favorites. Well, maybe your we favorites. should say what they didn't do today, and that would be have their actual event. Yeah, because it's gonna rain. <laughs> it's gonna do what? <laughs> it, it it gonna rain. Well, you know, speaking from experience, is that, is that what Google now told you? Leave. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. You've added YouTube. Why? Why would you add YouTube to this Google event? Yeah. What does Google have to do with? Oh, yeah. Ollie Williams. What? That's why. Okay. Well, you've scarred our listeners for life now. Yep. Yes. So they didn't have an event today because they had a hurricane instead. So Woo! what did they do in place of that, Ian? Uh, they made a blog post like any good internet person would do. Yes, so in place of a spectacular event where they would have dancing and cheering and photos, they had a blog post. I kind of like this better, actually. Yeah, I kind of actually did that, too, yeah. <laughs> wow. Because okay. then I can just read it all, and it's right there, just whenever I need to see it, it you know? You, you know, I was excited for the free nexuses thrown out to the audience, but you would have been there. So would it would it have mattered? Well, he would have been there in spirit, and that's all that matters. <laughs> ah, yes. See, it only would have mattered to me if I was there and I could get like you know a project glass for three thousand five hundred dollars because I'm a developer and everything from them, right? Yeah, aren't you? I mean, you know coding. You can do. You know Java now, so I mean, you're right up their alley. Well, what else does it need? Um, an eyes. actual device to eyes. test my stuff on. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> Well, so what did they? Uh, what did, what's new today? What did the, what did the Google event actually have in it? Well, they announced three new things. Three new I things. I guess we we can call them three new things. I, I think it's 2. more like 5. two new things, but or two point five. Yes, two point well, five is fair. So we we have the Nexus Four, which is their newest uh, phone, smartphone. And what do we know about that? That it is a four point four, four point seven four point seven inch. It's made by LG, and it's got some hardware specs. Well, that's reasonable. I mean, I like when things have specs. Yeah, and it sh- they really showed up with this one. It's not the best thing on the market in terms of specs. Okay, outright. so can I ask if it's better or on par with the previous Gal- Nexus phone, the Galaxy Nexus? It absolutely destroys it. Okay. It's a generation and a half ahead. So does that mean it actually has a real camera? <laughs> uh, no comment. Oh, well. <laughs> we neither confirm nor oh, deny. I-, I will make... I will make the statement that I believe anything would be a better camera. Yeah, that's kind of what I was implying, right? (laughs) So it has a 2100 mAh battery, which is quite impressive. That's a much larger battery. Do we know if the battery is removable? Um, We can, I believe, confirm that it is not. See, that's annoying. Pretty Pretty sure the Galaxy Nexus didn't have a removable battery either. Well, the trend with Google's Nexus phones, going all the way back to the first ones, is to have no SD card and no removable battery. As just two of the features that fans love, that Google simply refuses to give. Yeah, and no, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So what else does this phone have? Uh, what's the resolution on it? Uh, 1280 by 768 for which, 320 pixels per square inch. Yeah. Which is a moderate step up, just a little bit from the current top crop of the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Nexus, is the that, S7X. Um, is it using um, Pentile display? Because I think the Galaxy Nexus was using Pentile. It is using a, well, I guess we don't know about this one. I, I haven't looked it up. Um, it is made by LG, so I would assume no. Good. Pentile is, Horrible. Yes. <laughs> Please. 
Yeah, I, I've never been a fan of uh, Samsung's AMO LED displays. Uh, no matter Does what Ian know what about. you're talking about? I'm here, <laughs> and I'm listening to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting until we come around to the other thing, because I want to talk about the other thing more than the phone. Okay, well, we're almost done then. So it has uh, Gorilla Glass 2, which is good. I don't know what improvements 2 brings over 1, although I'm pretty sure it just got harder, and then it breaks less. Uh, the major less. improvement is that it's thinner, so it allows for a more the interface is a little bit smoother, and it allows you to decrease the weight of the device. Oh, that's good. Doesn't it have twice as many gorillas? Yes. Um, that's Gorilla Glass four. <laughs> four. Is is this like a logarithmic scale or something, or what? I don't speak math. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so it has an eight megapixel uh, camera, rear facing camera, and one point three front camera. That's pretty good. Yep, industry that's, standards. That's that's better than the what was it five megapixel on the Galaxy Nexus or five megapixel? That sounds and familiar. Yeah. Probably about a point three for the front facing. Yeah, well, front facing is irrelevant. I mean, it's always VGA quality and you know wimpy. Uh, these days, they're actually making the jump with the uh, Galaxy S3, for example. What is it trying to get? What did the 1. jump 9. up to? One point nine. Oh, one point nine. No, that's better. Seven twenty p capable. Okay, that's better. So what what are the storage sizes like in this uh, phone, Nexus 4? <laughs> Pretty bad. Pretty bad, considering it doesn't have any external storage capability. For $300, you get 8 gigabytes. Oh, that sounds terrible. And for 350 I believe, yeah. you get 16. That's not counting in how much the operating system itself takes and whatnot. Yeah, so, true. It doesn't and, sound good. And and according to their website, actual formatted space will be less. Oh, great. So, yeah. yeah. So, and, we're not really getting any prizes here. Well, there's one other feature combined with that that just brings this phone down. It doesn't have 4G LTE. So, do you really think that brings it down? I would say that considering its reliance on the cloud and its lack of memory sample in any kind, yeah, that's a weakness for it. So, I mean, I have... Uh, we, we, you and I have similar phones. I have the mm-hmm. WiMAX version of LTE or 4G, I guess. Mm-hmm. And you have the LTE version of 4G. Uh, yep. So do you use 4G when you're in the, the cities a lot? Um, I actually haven't had my phone while I've been in the cities yet. Okay, then. Well, I have. And when I'm on the bus or when I'm outside of a building, I, I love using 4G. But when I'm inside the building, it's pointless. Um, mm-hmm. But I don't know if... if uh, LTE is really that much of a big deal uh, overall. I think it would be nice to have, but I, I don't think it's um, so important that it's necessary. Well, I would just like to say, yeah, I agree, but also that <laughs> your comment really needs to go out to everyone who talked crap about the iPhone 4S for not having 4G LTE. Take that, certain Google fanboys. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I didn't what even is, get that one. What is this LG stuff? What's yeah, L- L- iPhone You mean LTE? I don't even know what well, okay, so it didn't have LTE per se, but eventually they did change the little icon to 4G. When they upgraded their phone to the 5. No, 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 no. In in the life cycle of the 4S, AT&T changed the 3G to a 4G. The icon. Yeah, because it, <laughs> well, it was using the um, HSPA plus or plus plus oh, or double okay. plus. Well, let's just sing the praises of AT&T. We're yes. the first ones in history to do that. Yeah, let's let's not do that, actually. <laughs> See, this is why I brought Sam, because I would have no idea what you were talking about, Ryan. And yeah. It would just be us two, and you would just be talking. I'm having fun. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's nice to have someone here who knows what he's talking about. Someone who speaks English, finally. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Okay, so what, Ian, let's, 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 uh, or so, Sam, do you have anything else to wrap up here, this, uh, Nexus 4? Um, I think it's an interesting looking phone. Is it, uh, is it a buy? If you care about the software more than anything, yeah, it's a buy. And finally, what carriers will we find this on? You can, it's not partnered with any carrier, you buy it straight from Google. So, I think it could work on any U.S. carrier. I believe, um, there is a bundled version for T-Mobile. I think, that you can get it on contract. Oh, right. Yeah. For $200 from Magenta. Ew. Contracts. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. I think well, I think I can live with that. I, you know, I don't see a CDMA phone here, so it's not really all carriers. Uh, no, it's it's oh. mostly designed for AT&T. Yeah. Mobile, but... <laughs> well, and that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so what's next, Ian? 
Well, the next thing uh, is the thing that I want to talk about. Okay, which one? The Nexus 10. The Nexus, Nexus 10. 10. Oh, a 10, that, okay. Because that's the other thing that's actually new. New. They, oh, okay. Let's talk about announced. the new thing. So the Nexus 10 is uh, a 10-inch, obviously. That's where the name comes from. Android tablet that's... Uh, well, I thought it was in feet. Well, <laughs> you know, that would be amazing. I would buy that. <laughs> Just <laughs> see, that's where I need the ex- the the mech suit, you know, oh so I can God. so I can carry this ten foot tablet around with me. Um, no, so the uh, so the Nexus Ten, um, it's kind of a continuation of the Nexus Seven. It's pretty much just kind of bigger. Um, it comes in a sixteen gig version and a thirty two gig version, which are four hundred and five hundred dollars respectively. Um, are you going to scroll down to the? I was going to tell you that. Who is it made by? Why is it different? Oh, yes. It's made by Samsung instead of Asus. Well, that's, um, that's, that's, that's strange. That. Quite. Um, so the the big selling point that, they, that they've that they talked about is the incredibly dense display of 2,560 by 1,600 pixels on a 10-inch display, which is 300 pixels per square inch, beating Apple at their own game of Retina! Well, okay, so now to uh, actually counter that point... It's Pentile. It, oh, so it is Pentile, but... It okay. is Pentile, yes. we looked it up. Okay, so that means it's a bunch of crap, so it really doesn't count. But furthermore, <laughs> that is 10.055, and it's running at that resolution, but it's... PPI is only 300, so technically that's still lower than the iPhone Retina, but higher than the iPad 3 Retina. Yes. Yes. Very confusing. But but the only one that we care about comparing it to is the iPad, obviously. That's what they all say. Well, the other ones are... The iPhone isn't even, like, in the same category Well, if you get six of them and line them up... (laughs) Ow! I just hit myself. How do you know what I do when I go home every day? Well, (laughs) I don't know. Uh, um, so for the for the specs, this yes. thing is running on um, a two gigs of RAM, and the two processor gigs. is somewhere over here. Ah, yes, it's the it's a dual core A15, um, whatever Samsung calls their so, lineup of existing. Uh, so since you told me this this morning, and then I suddenly went to Twitter in my stats class instead of paying attention. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, so since I did that, I, I started hearing a, a lot of controversy about why the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 4 have quad-core processors, while this only has a dual-core processor. Any thoughts on that? Well, do you want me to get that in? Probably. <laughs> I only Those care about i5s. built on a very different architecture. Very good. What the mm, Nexus 10 Oh, has... you were talking about that. It's dual core is 1.7 gigahertz, yes, yep. which would appear weaker. However, it's built on A15 architecture rather than A9. The best comparison of this is um, Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 mm-hmm. at 1.5 gigahertz dual core versus NVIDIA's... What? What's the name of NVIDIA's? Tegra. Name? Tegra, quad core, 1.5 gigahertz. Is Appears that the uh, Tegra 4 or Tegra 3? Um, I believe that was their 3. Yes. Back in the day when yep. those two competed. Right. They appeared like the gap would clearly favor the Tegra, yet the Qualcomm outperformed it in many everyday specs because it was built on A15 architecture rather than A9. The gap is very, very vast. Yeah. I would imagine that the Nexus 10 is as strong or stronger than its little brothers. Isn't this guy great? Yes, I like this. This is good. <laughs> so also, what do you know about the uh, GPU? Because I, I, I don't know enough about GPUs anymore. Uh, I kind of stopped uh, learning more about them. Actually, none of the sites that we looked at talked about the GPU um, at all. No, from the best I can say is based on Google's history and the history of Nexus devices, that its current GPU is probably at least in line with what would have been previously pe- um, brought with the Tegra. Okay. That's what people liked about the Tegra, was not its power, but its GPU that came included with it. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Well, but it makes I know sense that-, that the Tegra would have a good GPU because, <laughs> you know... Kind of NVIDIA, yeah. yeah. So I'm sure that this will at least outperform devices that use Qualcomm's um, Snapdragon S4. That's just based on Samsung's Equinos, as I believe it's pronounced. Yep. Mm-hmm. Generally has oh, yeah. a quite strong GPU in itself as well, similar to the Tegra. So I would imagine it won't be a weak point of this tablet at the very least. So what else, Ian? Well, it has two cameras. The rear-facing one is 5 megapixels. So 
it's yep, nothing nothing too special. But uh, honestly, what are you going to be using that for? You'll probably snap a picture and then share it online. Well, it's better than point, the lack of a camera on the Nexus Seven. Yes. Yeah, indeed. And then uh, it has a front-facing camera, which is 1.9 megapixels. So, yep. Um, and those record video in 1080 and 720, respectively. So that's good. It's uh, the tablet weighs 603 grams, which is uh, 1.3 pounds, I believe. So, yep. And obviously, all of these new Nexus devices are running Android 4.2. We'll talk is, more about that after. Yep. And it's still technically Jelly Bean. Yeah, they didn't, uh, they didn't we'll, we'll, name we'll, it anything we'll, t- we'll rant a little bit about that after. But before we yep. do that, what is this magnetic pogo pin charger? What is this? Is, that's the thing on the bottom, right? I don't know. I'm that's asking the you. Funny, I, don't, you don't know what is. I don't know, man. Well, I recall that it's in the Nexus 4, I believe, supports wireless charging. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. And if you're talking about what I hope you're talking about. I am. Okay, then it seems that perhaps the Nexus 10 also supports wireless charging. Yes, I believe that to be the case. So it's it's a lot like the HP Touchpad Touchstone. So uh, it's essentially kind of like a mat, and then you put the case on the thing, and then the thing charges on the mat. Except I don't think it's a mat in this case. I think it's some other type of device. Yeah, it... Though for the Nexus 4, I know it was a much smaller yeah. device. It was no massive thing like what HP had. Right. So I'm not sure if it's the same type of thing. Perhaps while I filibuster, Ian could Google that for me. <laughs> but, yeah, wireless, oh, um, I thought they had a big wireless charging is really, it's pretty new. It's an idea that's been talked about for over a year now. But getting use out of it, seeing it in new devices, it's exciting. Yes, definitely. We've had we've had bogus like wireless charging for a while now, a while now where you have to like plug in your phone to a thing that sits on a mat that's you know plugged into the wall and it's like that doesn't even count. Well, I mean, I'm I'm not opposed to wireless charging. It just has to be desk wide, and I need to be able to get wireless charging stations for multiple rooms. Okay, oh, I yeah. understand that. That way, wherever you are, you right. can just well, put and your so mouse down. I, 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 have, I buy special mouse pads for my phone because I don't want to get it scratched. And, okay. and so I, I put my, my – my, in this desk I have here in the studio, I, we have holes drilled in all over so I can run cables through. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I know. And, and so I have my, my, put my, I put, I attach it to my charger and my charger sits on the mat. And so then I'm happy. So, I mean, I'm not that far away from getting wireless charging in a mat form, but I mean, it's not ideal right now because it's still too expensive. I can't pay $80 per charger. Of course. I mean, geez, with that, you might as well just invest in a new battery for when the one you've got. Or you might as well just invest in what, like 18 micro USB cords. (laughs) Who would own that many, please? Like what? One on every single socket in the house. I am jealous and proud at the same time. <laughs> well, so also, uh, this has apparently micro HDMI, Ian. Yep. Are you are you excited for that? I, I'm excited for that because uh, here in the dorms, we do a lot of watching of things through you know Other internet things. devices on the TV. <laughs> yes. So you know, if if we want to continue watching, uh, you know, Stargate, you know, every day. Either I'll have to lug my uh, desktop out there or oh. use the tablet. Right. And using the tablet sounds like a much better option to me. I agree. So what do, what do you think about battery life? So this has a 9,000 mAh battery. And, yeah, Google claims that that lasts for nine hours while watching HD content on it, which obviously is I, – I would hope that watching HD content drains battery a lot faster than normal use stuff. So – like, battery life should not be an issue for you at all. Mm-hmm. Did, uh, did Google mention streaming HD content or watching it from the device? Because there is a difference. They probably wanted to max out the number of hours that yeah. they could say, so it's probably watching content off of the device, and I don't think you can store nine hours of content <laughs> on the device. Yeah, you're probably right. 
Oh yeah, so I, I guess we didn't mention that. So what were the pricing and uh, storage options? Uh, yeah, I did mention it briefly. It's, okay. It's, um, four hundred dollars for the sixteen gig version and five hundred for the thirty two gig version. And actually, we were we were wondering about this. Like, does it actually cost them a hundred dollars more to oh, put no, no, it sixteen doesn't. more gigs in it? I mean, the device doesn't even weigh anymore once they put it no, in. No, so. so actually, um, and you can find this out by looking at the um, bill of materials for the iPad and iPhone. So the um I think the iPhone five has a bill of materials around two forty. Okay. And so that's the base model. So the iPhone five black, whatever I think it's sixteen gigs, it costs yep. like two forty. The um what's the size step up? Thirty two gigs. Thirty two. So then yeah. the thirty two gig one was like two uh uh two fifty eight. Oh my god, a hundred dollars. So the markup on storage size at least for Apple. Now, Apple, of course, has, you know, a much larger uh, deal for flash memory. So, but I, I think it's comparable. So I, I think they're getting, you know, a good margin out of the storage size bumps. Oh, for certain. Yeah. So I may, maybe they're getting like, I don't know, an extra 70% of that instead. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll give it to Google. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So I think of course there, it was. So there is one more thing that they added to their their lineup today, and that is, of course, uh, an updated Nexus Seven. Yep. So two they updated have, Nexus Sevens, I guess. Yeah, they have the 32 gig version and the 32 gig with 3G versions. Um, what else is there to say? I mean, it's it's the oh, same well, device. Oh, I mean, maybe the price, before. maybe. Oh right! Oh yeah, that's true. That's really oh funny. right, the price. See, I keep I keep closing the blog well, post. It's just worth on mentioning first off that Google is no longer really officially selling their Nexus Seven with eight gigabytes of internal memory. I'm right. pretty sure they've said that's dead in the water. Yes, I, I think if so. They have it; they'll support it, but they don't intend to sell them anymore. You know, it's it's interesting. I'm I'm glad I'm glad they got rid of it, but it's also interesting that they wouldn't have said, "Well, maybe we'll sell it for one fifty instead." Right. Right. Yeah, it's it's an interesting move because I can see why they would want people to get it, but on the other hand, it would have made people angry eventually. Right, right. And in order to for Google to compete with Amazon, who officially declared eight gigabytes as not enough for HD content, yeah, this was really a very necessary move on their part in order to stay competitive in that seven-inch tablet market, especially with new competitors like the iPad Mini and mm-hmm. potentially the Microsoft Surface RT coming up. In order to that, that one's not seven inches; it's a cheap tablet. Five ninety nine is four ninety nine isn't cheap. Not a cheap tablet at all. It's cheap compared to the Pro, but this is off topic. Well, I mean, okay. no, actually, that is on topic. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so should we talk about Android four point two then? Yeah, and so, so, so I, do, that's why a I'm product page that, about that. I mean, does that exist anywhere? Yeah. Yes, I had it up before. Right? I had it up before. It's uh, gar, gar, gar. Wow. Is this it? Well, there's of course the Verge. <laughs> Who has lots of stuff? Not like we ever use there. Well, content. hey, guess no. who's in my window? Matt. Is that who I think it is? One thousand lumens per ounce. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, uh, you should come in because we're doing a show. Come in, in. Come in. Get in here. <laughs> That's the best way to say. <laughs> Did he do it? that on purpose? No, he didn't know we were doing this. <laughs> Don't you just love this network? <laughs> Everybody has to say a resounding yes. 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 Well, okay. So did you find um, a spec sheet? Can you put it in the show notes because I'm blind? Um, yeah, I'll just put the Verge's one. Yeah, that's fine. I, I like the Verge. I read them all, all every day. Not even, you know, uh, file off the serial numbers or anything. Just throw it in. No. What? Yes. Not even trying to hide that you're just stealing from the Verge again. Oh no! I mean, this is this is a link a link show. So we just provide a links link to show. people, and then we and then we you know link to the things that we're talking about. Yeah, allegedly. <clears throat> it's yeah. better than a link blog, believe me. Well, what are you trying to say? I, what I'm saying is that you should probably put those link things into Google Plus instead no, of I hate Google Plus. on a blog. Oh great! Oh my gosh, that's bright. Oh, it's warm actually. The sun. One thousand lumens. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's Children. <laughs> there's a there's a chair if you want. <laughs> um, there, Mike. This is Brian Mitchell. Or who? No, this is Ian and uh, um Sam Roth. Uh, some other guy. Oh right, Matt can't see us. Yeah. Can Matt hear us yet? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I can hear can, you. Can he? Okay, there he. He can hear you. Awesome. Now. Hi. Doing well? No, stop that. 
Can yeah. you feel how warm yes, it is? Yes, I like it, but not... Do you know how many lumens this is? You cannot shield yourself from this. He's boiling me with a light bulb. Dude, why would they put a sticker saying, don't look into this? Right <laughs> on the... Th- no, it's right there! Do you see it? Well, well, we're talking about the Android event today, the Google event today. Uh, any, any comments you'd like to share? I can't see you right now, so... <laughs> Can you feel it? I water? can. Yeah. I can see it through my hands. Uh, they got the webcam on? Yeah. No, that one. Oh, that one? No, Matt, cut it out. Don't break my webcam. I can just... Uh, Does it have autofocus? And now we can't see you. Ha ha. And why is everything dark? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we were talking about Android 4.2 that just came out today. Thousand lumens. Yes, no more. Any, any thoughts? I think it looks fantastic, wonderful, and unbelievable. Why? Because it's colorful. <laughs> Anything looks good when you have this in your eyes. It's an entirely new you know, flavor of jelly bean. Okay, so what do you think about that? Did you like that they called the jelly bean still even though they changed version numbers? No. I don't like that either. I, Ian, what is your what is point. your decision? Well, it's not an entirely new version number. It's just a, an increment yeah, of the point. Well, it's a different Sam. Sam. Sam Nobody's going to be able to hear us because Matt's still talking. I I don't know. That is a huge flashlight. Yeah, put that down. (laughs) Matt, join the show or, like, leave. (laughs) Oh, you can't hear me, right. (laughs) Ian says, join the show or leave. And then he snorted. I agree. So, uh... What, what 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 new features in uh, the second Jelly Bean do we have? Um, well, we have multiple user accounts now, so it's actually a fully fledged uh, have a good one. feature, if we want to call it that. So you know you can have multiple different people with multiple different Google accounts all syncing independently of each other, and it, it's great because yeah, this will work yeah. really well for a family sharing a tablet. Yeah. So if you instead of buying two tablets for the kids, if you buy one. You can really effectively now share your uh, Nexus 10 because each kid can have their own account with their own shortcuts, their own content, their own customization features, all that good stuff. And apps will not be directly shared, but if <laughs> but if you uh, if you have an app installed, oh my gosh! So wait, wait, are we like dead on the air right now? <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I think that the recording can still hear us, but not them. So they're gonna just hear us fall apart. All right, I'm just going to mute them so we can't hear. <laughs> okay, so should we just go on about Android uh, yeah. 2.2? Yeah, where were we? We were talking, we were talking about, about the multiple user accounts. Yeah. And you were telling me about the apps? Yes, for, so for apps, if you if you have an app installed for one user, it won't be automatically like installed for other users, but if they install that same app, it, the tablet won't have to re-download the, the app for the other users, it'll just give them access to okay, it. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. I mean, and that, it makes it, especially if you're on a phone and you have limited data, um, and for some reason you don't have Wi Fi, then. It's just a nice, easy way to it. It is, that. yeah. And, you know, it seems intuitive, but this just seems like the kind of thing companies would forget sometimes. Yeah. That there would just be events where they just make a stupid programming mistake, and, you know, for the first week, everyone would complain about it, and then they fix it. So it's nice to see that Google's got their game together for this. Yeah. It's like they're really releasing, little touch like that, they're releasing a fully finished product. They as thought a, about As this. opposed to their usual <laughs> strategy of release early and then iterate later. <laughs> Google would never do that. Oh, yeah, no. Everything's still in beta, though. I mean, oh, <laughs> of course. the Gmail beta. <laughs> So uh, what else have we got about this? They um, Google has released, or uh, one of the no- features is kind of a response to AirPlay. Of course, you know is, oh, okay, is yeah. Apple's um, wireless streaming. Let's um, push from one device to to another in house, basically. For example, your TV. Um, and so they're calling this Miracast, and supposedly um, it's supposed to be built into TVs soon ish, uh, and it just lets you wirelessly push things from your tablet to the TV. Great. Yeah, it's a nice idea. I mean, Google hasn't had the best track record with this. Google TV has always been kind of rocky. Yeah. And built into TV soon is not the best uh, sales pitch no. because most people want TVs actually own them. That's not to say they won't sell new. That's and true. It's a great feature to have now added on. However, it, I don't know. It's great to have the counter to AirPlay. It's, it's kind of the same way that they were when they first announced like uh google cloud print that uh you know right now you have to have 
a a Windows computer hooked up to your printer to you know push things from your other devices to that printer. <laughs> but soon we'll be coming out with lots of printers that actually have this built in automatically. Yay! I don't think I've seen any printers that have that built in no. at all. Well, I mean, I I don't want to just talk bad about it, but Google the way they've always done it. They make a lot of projects. The ones that are most popular soar. Android. Yep. <laughs> and the ones that are the least popular, they just get dropped off quietly. Yeah, and they write a blog post about it and then cut them out. Yeah. Yep. And then they incorporate the things that were good about it into other products like Google Wave got it incorporated yep. into Google Docs. Yep, they always bring yep. those things. So what else is this? We, have, have, jelly bean we have a new keyboard typing mechanism. So this is the swipe gesture typing thing. So I believe that there was a third-party app for this kind of thing before. Yeah. Um, but you yeah. basically, instead of touching each key individually that you want to type, you start with your finger on the first letter of the word that, you want, that you're typing, and then you just swipe to the next one, swipe to the next key, and it just kind of figures out which keys you are hitting based on, you know, where your finger goes. Um, yeah, it's very smart and intuitive. Um, mm-hmm. My phone, which has ice cream sandwich, had swipe built into it. It had, um, it was, I'm not sure if it was the exact same, but it was the same concept, just a gesture typing. And yep. I never used it much, but I have a friend who likes to use it one-handed. It's a big device, 4.7 inches. Mm-hmm. He used it just one hand. <laughs> a big device. Yeah. <laughs> that, that term is rapidly becoming outdated. It'll soon be a normal device. Galaxy Note 2. <laughs> but he likes to use that one-handed. And for him, swipe was worked out very well. It did everything he wanted to. So to see this built in natively is really good because it just takes some it takes some of the time of the burden off your HTCs or Samsung. Oh, look, I've returned. In, so they can pick different features to build into it. So overall, I'm happy for it. I think it's a good improvement. Hi. Hey, Ryan. Ryan, you're back. Yeah, you know, see, this guy came in and decided to <laughs> boil my skin with this incredibly hot <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> that I hear it had ridiculous power, like... 1,000 lumens. lumens or, yeah, 1,000 lumens. lumens. Per ounce? Yes, per ounce. Ah, now, yeah. do you know how many lumens per ounce that is? That is approximately 10 trillion times more lumens than this. <laughs> and that thing almost hypnotized me over the air. So. Okay, so what did you guys talk about while I was uh, being boiled? We talked about multiple user accounts, uh, Miracast, and the swipe to type Okay, so uh, keyboard. What do, you, what do you think about all of those things briefly? I think they're pretty great. Um, in short, it feels like Miracast might be a little bit of a catch-up, but still good to see it. Okay, They're so do you think... Fun. Is it going to be implemented? Yeah. <laughs> Miracast, yeah. in theory, is a great idea. Now, uh, it's supposed to be integrated directly into chips uh, from Intel. Like, it's supposed to be in processors, but I don't think it's in any yet. I'm hoping Haswell would fix that, but I don't think it will yet. Well... If you think about it, Apple does the same thing here with their AirPlay. Is that AirPlay? Yeah. yeah. They sell a device called the Apple TV right. in order to do this effectively. Mm-hmm. I think that would have been a more effective. I mean, and they're doing it over Google straight Wi Fi, which is the better part. They don't need a separate implementation at the hardware level for it. Okay. Yeah. I just, I question if this will actually be built in. If, if this becomes a standard, like what we need is a standard for streaming things wirelessly. Over, yeah. you know, just over a network. Well, yeah, Miracast and- is a scan- standard now, but it's just not implemented enough to be taken seriously. Well, if it can become popularized, then for Google to have a ground level playing with that would really give them a leg up in the competition. It so what, really if they, um, what if they, um, you know, like in February, they just say like, oh, hey, guys, we got this Nexus Q and it doesn't suck anymore. It's got Miracast. <laughs> that would be I was actually going to ask, isn't... Miracast basically what the Nexus Q was supposed to do, or did I just misunderstand no. that product? Yeah, it's it, it's very easy to misunderstand. It was supposed to be. It wasn't even supposed to do video. It was all for audio playing. Yep, for music basically. Yeah, more, I'm sure. yeah, it was so, really for music. So you just you hook up the Q to your sound system in your house. This is assuming you have a sound system yep. in your house, and then everybody who's at your party who has Android devices who use Google Play Music can add their music to the playlist and it will stream to the queue, which will then play it through your sound system. $300? was it? 200 I don't that? remember. Uh, you know, I don't actually remember. I thought it was 299 Because yeah, uh, people were comparing it to the Sonos sound system, which is also 299 But 
doesn't suck or um well i mean it's a, it's it's a much more f- fulfilled product so it it, it has okay. it has you know peripherals that you can attach so you know the 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 sono sound system it's you know the one thing and then you can add like multipliers around your house and all sorts of stuff so when you walk into a room the room will start playing music and all sorts of crap oh that's oh, great yeah. um but it you know it, it's kind of the same deal uh the nexus uh, q had the the amp built in the sonos didn't but the sonos actually you know like worked with more than one device right right because yeah. at the time the nexus q could only work with the other 4.1 device which was of course the galaxy nexus oh uh, you know it, it just feels like um perhaps the nexus q was a very Rush product like Google might have been better keeping it until Miracast became a big deal. Until now, well, you know it's if funny they... because the, the it had such great hardware. I mean, it looked cool, it worked really mm-hmm. well. The LEDs were mesmerizing. If you thought this was good, then just <laughs> watch those LEDs. But it just had a limited implementation at its right. time. Yeah. Plus, plus, even even if it was implemented the way that it was supposed to, it's still a closed system. I mean, how many people do we know besides me who use Google Music? I I don't know. I I, uh, I, exactly. I, I tried it, but I didn't do it because I don't believe in music, so it didn't matter. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, and I sold my soul to Apple long before I knew what a Google was. <laughs> so a Google. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think um, about the uh, the the gesture typing now? Because I don't think it's very exciting. I don't like gesture typing. What do you think? I think this is another example of Google taking something that, you know, their that their hardware partners uh, you know, figured out first. Because swipe and, is so hardware wise. Well, no, cuz cuz they put those things into their overlays, you know, into their skins, and then Google goes, "Oh, hey, that's actually a pretty good idea. Let's just make it standard." Yeah, you see um my phone, which has ice cream sandwich and is from HTC, has a swipe keyboard built into it. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't use it much, but I've got a friend who has the same one. He prefers to use it one-handed, and his hands aren't big enough to really handle the whole device terribly well. So he uses swipe for it, and he likes it. It works well for him. So to see Google implementing it is just kind of – it's really like Ian says. It's a trickle-up effect, if you will. Right. Google t- takes the best ideas – and they just implement them into a thing. Mm-hmm. Now, I agree. I'm not excited about it. I prefer typing the yeah. old standard way. Yeah. But I'm sure for some people, it's good that – it might be good for the manufacturers so that HTC and Samsung and whoever don't have to think about this anymore. It's just there. Well, I mean so they, they didn't can... have to really think about it before. They just preloaded Skype uh, – swipe. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a Freudian slip if I've ever heard one. <laughs> <laughs> They're essentially the same. Just one letter is missing. <laughs> Different. I don't know. I get what you mean, though. That... Uh, so, do you think these, you know, very few features, while not, you know, revolutionary or anything exciting, do you think it merited a whole version number bump? Well, it's not a whole version number bump. It's just uh, an increment on the four point whatever. Well, I mean, so it changed the version number, but it didn't change the name. So, sort of. well, how many? Let's see. They I, they have changed the um that that level version number without changing the name before. Well, I believe. Really? Because what was uh, it? Yes, and I believe, if memory serves, Gingerbread was two point two, and then they switched it to Gingerbread two point three. No, I don't think uh, so. Because two point two is Froyo. Uh, it was two po- two two point one is Eclair. Two point two okay. is Froyo. There was a really nice article from The Verge about Android Or, versions. you know, you could just go to Wikipedia. No, oh, what's that? that? No. The Verge is better. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to copy Wikipedia. <laughs> that would be plagiarism. Wink, wink. And plagiarism is bad, kids. Yes. And now you know. Ian, yeah, I was really counting you to go G.I. Joe there. I don't <laughs> know what you're talking about. Oh, whatever. I'll just go to... Wow. Okay, then. I'm on Wikipedia now. Yeah, as we... Make sure you edit this part. I, I don't edit the he, show. He doesn't edit it. Oh, great. So every bit about me telling you to edit this out will be... Yeah, I know, but that, that's part yeah. of the charm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you want to call it that? that well, so I've got this new thing. So while I'm while I'm recording, I can do this new thing now? Yes. That, that I, I just, it's Eclair, just, Eclair. Yeah, Eclair. Eclair went from 2.0 to 2.1 without changing the name. That's very interesting. Do we know... Oh, does, it, does it say in, in your article there, does it say... um? What changes were between them? Um, yes, yeah, so two point one brought minor amendments to the API and bug fixes. <laughs> wow. Well, if you, my argument for that will be at this point, Android was still in its 
infancy. rough infancy. Yes, yes. It was not a very competitive system, no. frankly. So I assume minor bug fixes means significant. Okay. Yeah, enormous. Yeah. Um, they've also repeated this with honeycomb. Yeah. Honeycomb does. Honeycomb. Come. Honeycomb is the redhead stepchild of Android. I mean, yeah. like if if if, uh, if Honeycomb is accounted for anything, you might as well just throw out your project development cycle altogether. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, it doesn't even make sense. Yes, Honeycomb was basically a side project that Google decided to have Android eat. Right. Yeah. It took the best features. There were good features in Honeycomb, yeah. and it. Absorb them into ice cream sandwich. Right. Can you imagine how confused we would be by now, though, if they hadn't reintegrated the the smartphone and tablet versions <laughs> with ice cream sandwich? We'd have like we'd we'd be like leapfrogging, you know, smartphone. Every other letter and, would be yeah, different. Yeah, right. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was a good good event there. What else here uh, did the Google do? Did they do anything else? Um, I believe they, they added more cards to Google now, so more different kinds of stuff are included um, that you know that you can see in Google now. They did something with their inbuilt cameras that I think was supposed to outdo even panoramic shots. Yeah. I don't know the details on this, but I know that they added something that they thought... It's, it's a full, like, 360-degree... Um, it's called photos, Photosphere, which I guess implies that you can do, like, up and down as well. Oh, as okay. it's just side to side. Panorama is just side to side. Yeah, just, like, so far. Well, I'm sure that's a feature that everyone will be dying to use. Yes. Oh, yeah. Especially on the Nexus 7 that has no, you know, real camera. Oh, yeah, completely. <laughs> <laughs> Someone here is a little bit better. Yeah. Or, I don't know, the, maybe on... I saw, I saw a box back there that looked like, uh, was that was that a Nexus box? Oh, well, so... I was in Kaufman the other day. So Kaufman Union is the game room, the like kind of the, the lounge building at the sure. St. Paul campus or okay. Minneapolis. Or, I don't know the campus here in the Twin Cities. And so I'm just sitting there drinking my Diet Coke, and then I'm gonna get up to go to class. And I go over to the recycling bin, which is next to the garbage can. And in the garbage can, there's a Nexus Seven box that's empty. And so I take the box and I'm going to put it on the uh, you know the the shelf thing over there. Excellent. Even but though you don't have the device. No, I don't have the device. <laughs> but it's hilarious. I just, so then I'm standing there looking at this like, whoa, those colors look good. I could steal those and put those on the website. Oh, it's a ne- oh wow, it's a Nexus device. Wow, that's funny. So then I look around <laughs> to see if anybody sees me taking crap out of the garbage can. Of course. <laughs> and then nobody's watching, which is good. And then, of course, I look around to see if the guy who bought the device is still around and he is he's two tables over just playing with his new thing his new nexus <laughs> and and it's like well i'll just be walking out of here with that then so so then i i i i i orient myself so that i'm walking away in the box is on the other side of me and he's on the other side well you didn't stop and ask him about how he liked it no and, you know, no i, I should have but i didn't yeah face-to-face social interaction is not part of the requirement here right which is strange because we've got a video chat going here. In, in this day and age, this we have is, a buffer. <laughs> in, 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 to my, in my opinion, this is all audio because I, I don't know. <laughs> you should have seen me earlier today playing phone tag with my mom with phones and chatting and video chatting. She was pretty hard was, to catch. Wow. And even and, and then like after I caught her on the actual phone, we stop you know we stopped talking, and then she invites me to a hangout, and I'm like, "What's going on?" <laughs> and then she's like, "Oh, Ian, you, hello," and I'm like, "You just invited me here." No, I didn't. <laughs> well, sometimes Google it's hard doesn't to tell. lie, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Google knew that our conversation wasn't over. <laughs> yep. So there, I don't think there's anything else really. Well, they've got a few new features that are, you know, little things. Boring. No. Yeah. No, it, it doesn't seem like Google's really added that much here, but I guess they felt that um, Jelly Bean 2 had already shored up its defenses enough that with the Nexus 10, they could take on their fearsome strength competitors this so time. So yeah. when do you think the next update we'll see is? Android yeah. software update? Yeah. Do you mean a full letter, or do you just mean another one like I, this? I, I, not, not like this. A full letter. I have to take a call quickly. I'll be right back. Watch out for cars. <laughs> uh, um, what do you think, Ian? I, I don't know. I mean, it seems like at the rate that they're going, it's every few months. Do you think so, they'll probably wait until uh, Google I.O. again, or do you think they'll do it sooner? 
Google I, that's all the way in June, isn't it? Well, it, it could be. It could be in May. It depends on if they get the venue or not. Yes. Yeah, I doubt that they're going to wait that long. I'm thinking more like okay, maybe February. See, it's interesting yeah, because they, they have to balance their updates against, oh, well, I'll, you know, like people who get phones and people who get 4.1, and if you're on Verizon or Sprint, you'll never get 4.2. So they have yeah. they have to balance their updates. But that was the point of this new Nexus Four. Yes, you know, is that it's not any, it's not sold through the uh, through the carriers, so they can push their updates whenever they feel like it. That's true. Possible. Yeah. I think it'll be interesting to see how long Google supports this device. Yeah, it could be anywhere from two more steps to five to ten. Who knows how long Google will feel that they can? Yeah properly support the mm-hmm. device. I think that'll be interesting to watch. As for my guess for when the next Android work update will come, I will put it in... Oh, well, next week? <laughs> in terms of tech time? Yes, yeah. that's what it will feel like. Yes. I don't know. Nine months. Nine months? That's a nine long months. time. Nine months. They'll have a version 5 will be out. Yo, so you think they're going to jump all the way up to 5? I didn't say that I'd think they would have anything between, but their next full update, version 5. Okay, then. Okay. I like I'm that. High. Well, let's. See. Well, how how far have they gone before? Like the longest yeah, time between like, major yeah, updates. They only went. Well, no, I well, mean, I think, like, I think there was like fifteen years between zero and one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they they only went up to two point three, and then you know jumped to four. Right, yeah. but if if you look at the time just between it, it's oh well, yeah, between each yeah, version, it's version about a year. Two lasted for a really long time. Well, maybe they so, maybe they're changing their development cycles. Oh, that's true. They might. That would be interesting if they start going a little bit quicker with them. There. So maybe they'll do one. The, they'll do the big one at I/O every year, and they'll do a smaller one right before the holiday here well, at Christmas. If Google did do that, I think that would could prove a very useful business model compared to old steady once a year Apple. Yeah, it would be interesting to see. I was very surprised when I heard that Jelly Bean was coming out when it did, because I was like, it, it, wait, didn't, like, Ice Cream Sandwich just come out exactly. like, earlier this yeah. summer? At that time, Ice Cream Sandwich was not yet on 1% of devices. Right. Then, yeah, Jelly Bean is on the horizon. Of course, Jelly Bean is more of an iteration of of just making, you know, Ice Cream Sandwich smoother anyway. Right. Now, I will say, Google now. I honestly have to wonder how much updates beyond Jelly Bean or even Ice Cream Sandwich will matter in terms of, if you... If you take your every user, not your hardware, software, nerd, like yeah. some people, us. just your average user, right. yeah, us. If you just take them, iOS 4 will feel just fine compared to iOS 6. They won't notice massive right. differences in their mm-hmm. daily use. And I feel that Android is now at that point with Ice Cream Sandwich. That's smooth enough, no lag. It's just fine. So your average user doesn't care that Jelly Bean 2 is out now. To them, it won't be any different than Ice Cream Sandwich. Unless you tell the average user that it's an iPhone 5 and then ask them what they think of it. <laughs> then they'll right. tell you that it's really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> or right. really light. Yeah. They'll scream about how big the camera is. Right. <laughs> or how big the display is. <laughs> how big the camera is. <laughs> yes, that is correct. So, Ian, I, I have to ask you, if you were in the market for a tablet now... If I was in the market for a tablet, well... A fun- full-size tablet. Full Funny thing you should ask me that, because I kind of actually am... Now that I have um, a desktop, I really don't feel the need to use my laptop for anything anymore. I think we should cover that in another special because I have to go for a short here, and I want to have that special with you. Oh, Laptops, you... tablets, all that. Okay. Well, I love okay. I love doing specials. Well, I would be honored to come back any time for another special. Okay, that sounds this good. Been, this has been the most fun I've had in quite a while. Good. I'm my at... wingman anytime. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Our audience of one, ladies and gentlemen. Does Declan count as a guest now? No. <laughs> yes, he goes in. <laughs> Fine. But anyway, I, before I have to go, I would just like to compare the Nexus 10 to the various other tablets, if we may. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. The scope of this. Well, Ian, what what do you think is the killer app of the Nexus 10, if you will, the killer feature of it that makes it? Not an app, the killer spec, whatever. Feature? Yeah, that makes it stand out. Um, I would say the integration with the rest of my Google everythings. Okay, compared to, you've outlined a few other competitors here. The Kindle Fire HD, extra-sized version, 8.9 inches. The iPad, four folks, that's right, Apple already <laughs> pushed out a new one. <laughs> and the Microsoft's Windows Surface RT. 
Yeah, yeah. how many words is in that title? Yeah, too many. <laughs> Microsoft my account? Yeah. Oh, that is <laughs> bad memory. Now, out of those, out of those four, I would say that the form factor that I like the most is actually the surface, other than the fact that it's got that silly little 1366 by 768 oh, yeah, um, display. But, <laughs> no, it's a very, very sleek physical design. Mm-hmm. You know, the cover that doubles as a, a keyboard, as a right? keyboard. I mean, brilliant. The, the kickstand, the, you know, everything that they did with that, I saw that and I was just like, that is exactly what an all-in-one tablet should be. Definitely. And if you compare that. The specs of the RT to anything. Oh yeah, top end, a very powerful quad core. The the, the worst processor. part of it is, of course, the resolution. That's the low end on resolution. Oh, that, yeah, I can't understand why they did that. Yeah, that is. Really I think they did. Back. I think they did it so that they could include legacy desktops with Metro, but for no reason because that's a nearsighted thing. I think they'll fix it eventually. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's the reason actually that I wouldn't get the Surface is because it's running Windows RT and right. there's nothing on that. No. Right? You know, it's it's trying to 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 include old Windows things, but all it includes is Office. You know, and, so yeah, I I, um, Explorer 10. I was lucky enough to actually try a Windows RT tablet, uh, not the Surface, but an RT tablet. I okay. I, I I tried one at uh, Staples when I picked up my uh, Windows 8 copy, and you know, it's actually the the Metro interface is actually really smooth on the tablet. I'm I'm not I don't know what the specs were. It was um a Samsung ATIV. Um, I don't know that off the yeah, top of my head. No, who would? Um, <laughs> but just 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 take a moment to say ATIV. Okay. Yeah, because it's just, a, just exactly it's just this bizarre name that makes no sense. But anyway, it, it actually Metro is really smooth. Everything's really fast. Things work like okay. you'd expect them to. Um. So you'd say it was. Well built in I, that I, sense. I, 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 well, I mean, it w- wasn't falling apart. Uh, yeah, but it, it didn't. I, feel, it wasn't like plastic, like a Kindle is. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it was fine. You know, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure its resolution was probably the same 1366 by 768, but it didn't seem to be a deal breaker. It, it was a fine tablet for 4.99. It was a little expensive, but okay, that resolution. Yeah didn't hinder it in any particular way. Well, you have to think these are still HD devices we're talking about. Right. And it, the screens are still within reasonable size. Yeah. That a 720p display doesn't look too bad. So a little bit above that, uh, I admit, I personally find the RT the weakest competitor in a mix of its display and mm-hmm. the fact its price point is a big thing. And biggest of all, it's ground zero here, folks. This is starting out the market for... RT apps. It doesn't have the years of development the iPad has behind it, right? Or the fervor of um, that both the Nexus and Amazon's marketplace have gathered that they both have very considerable. So I find the or RT the wonderful first person first party apps that uh, BlackBerry has. Oh, indeed. Oh, BlackBerry Ten is going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I will be lining up to laugh at them on day one. I mean. <laughs> Well, so you can them. you you can you can uh, film the uh, Galaxy S3 Apple commercial, but in the BlackBerry style. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the difference is you could do it with any of these four tablets. Right. Exactly. Here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have to say, after the RT, I think the next weakest competitor, in my opinion, would probably be Amazon's Kindle Fire HD. Yep, agreed. Inches. Definitely. It it's got pretty decent specs overall. They're we- they're the worst specs, but objectively, they're all right. And it has a really nice display, 1900 by 1200, especially on its slightly smaller si- f- size. That really looks good. And for a device that if you really like Amazon media, if you're invested in that marketplace, it's good. But its biggest case against the others is its price point. $300 entry price easily undercuts the others. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it also has my favorite feature, dual stereo speakers that are quite loud and high quality built in on well, it. The, the Nexus 10 has... Uh, Oh wait, dual, dual spirit? What does that mean? It, dual stereo? Oh no, it it has dual speakers. Sorry. Oh okay, okay, speakers, yeah, yeah. It well, has those, four yeah. channels. <laughs> <laughs> the Nexus Ten does have stereo speakers. Okay, yeah. We're in oh, stereo here too. You just see so you now. The Nexus does have stereo. Yay! Ooh. Yeah. That way, we finally got that. <laughs> so then, so then after that, between the iPad and the Nexus Ten, who wins? Ian. 
Oh, for me, Nexus 10, hands down. And I disagree. I think the iPad 4, folks, that's yes. right, it's 4. Yeah. Your 3 is now outdated. <laughs> I give it that one to the 4. Your Nexus 10 does, however, horribly destroy 3. Okay. I, I, I would agree with that. The Nexus uh, <laughs> Nexus 10 is comparable to the ne- uh, Nexus, uh, I mean, iPad 4. But the one thing I don't like about it is that the Nexus, uh, or the iPad is so much more expensive. It's a problem. Well, yeah, one hundred dollars entry point isn't that bad, especially when you consider. Well, I know, but I think uh, the four ninety nine uh, Nexus Ten gets you thirty two gigs, and the equivalent iPad Four would be uh, five ninety nine. Then, indeed. So, so if you compare, if you compare them at the same price point, though, that is thirty two yeah. gigabytes in your Nexus compared to that's true sixteen in your iPad. For that, you're getting access to Apple's far expanded marketplace. Yes. Apple Apple in their ecosystem has, I believe, the number I last read was 275,000. Yeah. No, yeah, yes, that is correct. Apps that were optimized for their tablet. Right, Compared exactly. to Android has a very weak showing. Like 20. To that. Yeah. yeah. All from Google. Right. <laughs> so I feel that in exchange for 32 gigabytes of um, space, you're getting access to Apple's much larger ecosystem there. However, which, like, uh, most Android apps will work on it anyway. Well, same yeah. thing for the I, iPad. Yeah, but, I, I mean, even though they're not optimized, that's okay. Uh, depends on who you ask if it's worth it to get the optimized or not. Yeah. Especially in this day and age where you've got a 5-inch phone. If you're getting something different, do you really want to have the same experience on a larger device compared to having a different experience on a larger device? Also, keep in mind, with the display, I just have to make the case. Again, Pentile for the Nexus. It may have significant more pixels per inch, but the fact that it's a Pentile display makes me question it, Mm -hmm. if it will. For all I know, it might look just fine. Some Pentile devices look good. Most look really bad. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, (laughs) And I I can't get around that. Uh... Yeah, I stayed away from the Galaxy S3 for that same reason. Pentile made me a little nervous. Yeah. Ian here doesn't know the difference. To him, colors are colors. <laughs> pixels are pixels. You know, a pixel is not a pixel. <laughs> Were we going to call the, our show Pixel Perfect at one point? I don't. I, I really don't know. <laughs> that was going to be Just terrible. continuity. We don't remember that. <laughs> well, I, I think your show name is good as it is. Yeah, I know. I, I agree. I'm not planning on changing it. Good choice. The reporter. Can you imagine the show. redirects for that? Oh, man. <laughs> 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 it's not like anybody uses the feed anyway. So. I think I mentioned that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad that Google now has an actual direct competitor with the other 10-inch tablets. Out I there. agree that it was long coming, and Google gave Apple one heck of a head start, and they waited long enough for even Microsoft to show up. <laughs> but <laughs> well, Microsoft I, I, didn't needed to show up. Yeah, definitely that. Microsoft has been so irrelevant in terms of anything but desktop computing, where they have been supreme completely, Yep. that it's good to actually see them making this push with Windows Phone 8 and with their tablets that are actually quite competitive. Mm-hmm. It's just really good to see them creating a genuine third ecosystem in the yeah. Spanish. <laughs> that you don't just want Android and iOS fighting. Because right. having a third party really adds so many more dimensions. Well, and and, just and, and of course, with Microsoft participating in that, I mean... Uh, Metro actually is something different, and, and it's so different Very. that we question its viability on certain computers. So uh, I, I think it's actually uh, not only good for competition, but also to get another uh, look at designing an interface for people to use. Well, certainly. I mean, I do I do definitely like the, uh, the live tiles. That does seem like a step forward yeah. to me. If you look at all forms of computing, if you argue, have been roughly stagnated behind a similar idea, similar concept started from Windows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Scroll here. Thou must scroll this way. Yeah. Particularly on mobile devices. So I think it's really interesting to just see something new, a breath of fresh air. It doesn't attempt to shake things up a little bit. Microsoft, it's interesting to see them doing that. Normally I would expect them to be the stalwart champions <laughs> of the old. But it's well. just fun to see them coming up with something radical. Yeah, so definitely. Something radical that has the old hidden beneath it. Of course. <laughs> well, they try. I mean, that's as long as they keep trying to do stuff, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm, yeah, I'm really excited to see. It'll be interesting to see what the sales show in a year. If we remember to do a look-back show at 
these four tablets and just see. Oh, in a year we'll be preoccupied with what's next. <laughs> oh, please, there'll be nothing next. I've had five as the last one. <laughs> I'm going to start that rumor on the internet and see if anyone believes me. Nope. Be sure to label it uh, uneven screws. Do you remember that one, Ryan? Yes, of course I do. It's an asymmetric yeah. screw also. Oh, okay. That's what it's called. So some person took a picture of uh, an asymmetric screw that they just like made a picture of, and then spread a rumor around that Apple was making devices with these things so and that people... you couldn't unscrew them. Right. I think I actually have heard that, and people believed it. Yep. yep. Well, is there anything else you guys would care to cover before I unfortunately have to run? Anything no, else you'd like I, I think that's so? pretty much all. Oh, you can't stay for Stargate. <laughs> uh, I would, but it's not like my parents pick me up, but. My parents are waiting for me. Well, before we go, I think we should ask you, where can we find you on the internet? Because obviously you know what you're talking about, so you should be somewhere on the internet. Oh, well, I browse a lot of places on the internet. <laughs> I am a champion lurker. Well, get out he of the corner. Plus, but he um, doesn't post anything. Yeah, I, I read a wide range. Um, geez, if... You know what? I'll address where you can find me when I come back next time. Okay. For my special, for my special about... Uh, tablets and laptops and desktop computers and where this is all going in the future. Okay. And the start a blog of the laptop. Just to give you a little spoiler there. Yes, yeah, that yes. is that is good. What, when that happens, I'll be sure to spread my information joyously. But <laughs> for all three of our viewers, including Declan, who left, <laughs> <laughs> just know that I will probably return, hopefully sooner than later. This yes, has been definitely. a very enjoyable experience for me. Right after November 18th, you'll be here for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind returning. For the Wii U. Well, well uh, where can we find you, Ian? All right, I'm on Google Plus as well, as well as my blog, which is ianrbuck.blogspot.com. Okay, yep. and of course, you can find me, Ryan Rampersett, especially on the Twitter. Only on the Twitter, really, because I don't use that Google Plus <laughs> thing. You can find me on the tent.is if you really wanted to try, but I don't think you should. And, of course, this is the Nexus. This is where we talk about stuff, especially breaking news and events, and hurricanes canceling breaking news and events, and then blogging <laughs> about them. Yes, it's going rain, yes. Well, good show? Yeah, that was very fun. Okay, sounds good. 